that you've been canvassing the doorsteps of uh, South Down. What are people telling you the pressing issue is for them this election? In rank order, number one, without questions, jobs and unemployment. Number two, education. Overwhelming absolute annoyance with education. And number three is uh, health, because we have a really local crisis here with uh, Down Hospital. And will you be able to make a difference if you get re if you get elected back into the assembly you left and uh, back in 2007? Yeah. Well, I, I hope I can, because I think something can be done about jobs and unemployment. I think we can look to our own strengths. I think people are too busy saying, oh, it's the recession, it's the recession, it's the recession. Yes, it is, of course. Obviously it is. But I think we've got our own strengths to build on. Locally here we've got tourism. In Down Council we've been building on the tourist product here. And one of our projects, one of them, which I chaired, the uh, promenade in Newcastle, increased the footfall in Newcastle four times. That's four times the number of visitors, four times the number of uh, jobs, four times the amount of money coming into the area. Some people are saying that uh, this assembly election is really the most boring, most meaningless election we've had in years and really it's just about shuffling the deck chairs and, and whoever's in whatever ministry won't make that much difference because all they're doing is managing the cuts programme handed down from the Tories and the Lib Dems in London. Not at all. If, if you take a look at uh, our particular manifesto which is being launched this week, you will see that it is very clear from it that the, we have an agenda that is different from every other party in that we are building uh, jobs for the future and we are also getting people to come together. It's, it's a unique uh, policy position that none of the rest of them can put together. Over the last 10-15 years uh, in South Down we've seen the inexorable, apparently inexorable rise of Sinn Féin uh, ever encroaching on uh, like an SDLP heartland and bar uh, Margaret Ritchie's triumph at the Westminster election last time. That's been the direction of travel. Do you think that, that will uh, be the continuing trend in 2011? I would contend that Margaret Ritchie's uh, election victory is the turn of the tide. I, I can see it. We meet it on the doorstep. People are telling us that they're changing uh, and we want to encourage them to be courageous and make that change. Jim Wells, uh, in his uh, little election prediction, reckons that the, the sixth and final seat may well come down to a battle between you and John McAllister. What do you think of Jim's uh, prediction uh, value? Well, I could never really honestly depend on Jim Wells to accurately reflect anything. <laughs> so I'd immediately suspect of, of such a prognosis. But yes, it is likely to be a tight situation. There are are possibilities for us to regain our seat on two grounds, I believe. One is that the uh, one of our local uh, Sinn Féin MLAs has simply been described uh, uh, on, on the net as not performing, and that word's getting out amongst the people. Uh, so there's an opportunity for us there to regain a seat. And the second one is the unionist mandate may indeed be reduced as a result of the boundary changes, and that may very well create another opportunity. But what we are trying to do is we're saying to our supporters, come out and vote. This is an important election. If we have the confidence of the voters, we will win. Do you mind?